Okay, hello. 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 Hello, hello. Hey, do you want to know uh, the worst? Do you want to know the worst feeling in the world? Um, realizing after a month of anticipation that you forgot about Vanillite Spotlight Hour in Pokemon Go. So, yeah. After literally anticipating it for the whole month, I forgot. But it'll be okay. We got Katie time. We got Katie time. I'm at Vanilla Light Spotlight Hours yesterday. Aimlock, hey, hello! Yeah, it's Katie time. Hi, yo. Hi, yo. It's kitty time. I have one purring and head bumping me. He does not, Casper does not do head bumps. And that's the one thing, it's the one thing that makes me sad is he doesn't, he doesn't do head bumps. Cause he's a wild feral outside kitty. I'm sorry, sorry. He doesn't know, he doesn't know to do it. I'm like, how you doing? How was your, how was your holiday slash weekend? How you been? Hmm, let me fix this thing. <clears throat> yeah, this boy. This boy. Where's this money? You got some games yesterday? Hell yeah, what'd you get? What'd you get? Let me hear about it. This boy. Hanukkah was spent with a relatively new date made in the Netherlands. Well, that sounds like a good time. Well, I hope it was a good time, I should say. I hope it was a good time. say he doesn't do head, bump, bu head bumps. He does little head bumps. He, like, he likes to head bump our hands to get pets. But he also doesn't do... Like, if I lay down, like, he doesn't, like, come up and cuddle on me. He just comes up and lays on me for pets, so... He has, he has the ways that he expresses affection. He has the ways that he expresses affection. Got Overlord for 360, Perfect Dark Zero. We're all combat nine complete. Guardians of the Galaxy, Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, and Quantum Break. Nice. All all good pickups.
Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy was really good. Um, that new Lego Star Wars is really good. I should go back to it. I should go back to it. I was playing it with Aaron. <laughs> this little boy. Nice little boy. Absolutely love still processing. I'm in a healthy, communicative relationship for once. That's good. That's really glad to hear. I'm really glad to hear that. Somehow GameStop had the steel book. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get lucky with GameStop. Hi, sir. Okay. Kitty time's almost over, so you want to say hi? Hey, Bert. You want to say hi to everybody? Even have the cover for the steelbook and the bonuses. Wow. The cover for the steelbook is interesting. Some people don't take good care of their games, and that's the immediate thing that uh, that gets trashed. I halfway succeeded in making myself over easy eggs for the first time today. Very proud. Fuck yeah. Over easy eggs are very difficult. Over easy eggs are very difficult. I usually get mine over medium. Just because of. Uh, just because they're it's just like, you know, it's 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 very tricky. It's a little, you know. They said if we move in together, I want to adopt a second cat. Too early. We're just three months in, but we've been fantasizing about adopting a calico and a little void. I love it. I love it. That's so cute. My old pan was impossible. There's no amount of nonstick spray that would help. Oh, yeah, because right. Yeah, because you got the new pan. Getting a new pan is incredible. Getting a new pan is it, it lets you do so much. This is the original Destroyer. Yeah, we've been friends getting closer for the last couple of years. Yeah, so you've been you've been friends for a bit. You have that relationship to build off of, which is very nice. Is this uh, oh, this is Peniment. No. What is this? What is this? This is a horror game. This is a weird horror game. What weird horror game is this? These are between easy and medium. Yeah. Nope, oh, sir. Sir. Suikoden has 92 retro achievements for Suikoden in December. <laughs> Thought it was Elements of Destruction because there's also the cow being lifted except by, oh my God, Elements of Destruction? Layer, oh, it could be, mm, it could be Layers of Fear. It could be layers of fear. Oh, well. Okay, we all know it now, right? We all. This, that's a thing I really got to play. That's a thing I really, I have so many Resident Evil games. I have so many Resident Evil games. I just played that one that I didn't have a good time with.
you know? It <laughs> just goes, like, it's <laughs> just someone who's just like, I don't recognize it. What is it? Robots? Gels? Gels? Um, oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, it's not a Star Ocean game. Never mind. Seven is so much fun. I watched Run Button do a good bit of seven, and it it's great. Oh, meta gel. No, well, okay. Okay, now we... Metagels is a good, it's a good guess though. It has scary, but it's generally very fun and has so many fun set pieces. Yeah, I really, I gotta sit down. As much as I wanna play the retro ones, I'm the modern gamer. ones are really intriguing in a, in, a, in a very different way. The modern ones are intriguing in a very different way. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a gamer. I will buy Matt a fake game if I have to. <laughs> All right. Modern ones have made me want to do the old ones. I, I think it's completely fair to say like, oh, I like the modern ones. I don't like the old ones. I think it's fair to say I don't like the old or the modern ones. I don't like the modern ones. I like the old ones, but I think I went into what did I play? RE3? Nemesis. I think I went in Nemesis just like sideways or something. I don't know. I've been a Silent Hill bitch all my life. The shooty heavy games weren't super interesting, but now I'm into it. <laughs> all right. So we know it's first person in something. Silent Hill, multiplayer, Silent Hill. Single player, multiplayer, <laughs> Silent Hill, multi hill, cooperative hill, and split screen. Uh, and new, newer than 2021. Uh, I'm gonna guess Halo 3? 2011, I said 2021. Jeez, did Halo 3 come out after 2011? Because Halo 3 is, I remember Halo 3 having split screen. I don't remember if like ODST did. Halo 3 is 2007, so no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Single player, multiplayer, so competitive multiplayer, cooperative multiplayer, and split screen. Split screen is the thing. Try Halo 4. Did Halo 4 have have split screen? I don't know. That's that's why I said like Halo 3 is the only one I know for sure had had split screen. I think yeah. Halo 4 was Halo 4 was 2012. Um, let's Google last Halo with split screen. Except for Halo 5 and Infinite. Well, aren't those the two last ones? So. Yeah, except for the last two. Wow. You know? It happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. Uh... Real gamer. Um... 
All right, in the let's let's try the unlimited weekly. That's uh, here's three. Aye. the one time when having a physical Halo collection comes in handy. Uh, is this final fight? Uh, streets of rage. Oh my god. In inspired by a book or inspired a book? This is Assassin's Creed 2. I know my I know my boy. I know my boy Ezio Auditore de Forense. That's the bunker. Boop. No. Did it, did it say Amnesia the Dark Descent? Oh, wow, it did. I thought they added Dark Descent later. Uh, this is Silent Hill 2. Boop. It's Kingdom Hearts. Uh, we can't, oh, yep. Yeah. This is Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Boop. That's StarCraft Brood War. Boop. That's Virtua Fighter. No, nope, it's not Virtua Fighter. Tekken? Tekken. Yeah, I, I knew the guy. I just put it, gave him to the wrong game. Uh, this is that's Kingdom Hearts two. The Kingdom Hearts three. No, this is uh three three fifty eight over two days. This is three fifty eight over two days. Yep. This is Tekken uh four. Mm. This is uh, the whatever the Warcraft expansion was where Frozen Throne. Boop. This is Gears. The first one was Gears 3. This one's Gears 4. This one's. I think it's going to be all the same series because there's been a book. This is Splinter Cell. Double agent? <clears throat> yeah, buddy. This is uh, Oracle of... Is the Kingdom Hearts game with the title that makes no sense? It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. That's Oracle of Ages. Nope, it's Oracle of Seasons. I thought Oracle of Seasons was the green one. That's a that's a game I should stream. This is Republic Commando. This is this is the best one. This is one of the best ones. Aaron Travis wrote like three novels. Perfect. This is this is Zelda 2. Adventures of Link, Zelda 2. Love Ages and Seasons. This is Pokemon Gold. I don't know what book this was based on or I mean are you are they including manga? I feel like I recognize this. I feel like I recognize this but I can't think of it. Like If someone, if someone has it. Like this is an anime ass game. Not Hand of Fate. Near Replicant. 
I don't think, I mean, we can see some of the word. Pokemon Concierge comes out tomorrow. Do I watch it? Yes. Also, thank you for letting me know that it comes out tomorrow. It looks like it's a, it's ATE. Is it a Shantae game? No, that feels so anime. Yeah, I think I think it's I think it's Fate, but it like it Fate has to be at the end, right? So it's not like Fate Stay Night or Fate anything because this is. And, and there's also no fate games in this, so. I'm gonna guess Hand of Fate. Oh! Oh my god, why do I have, oh! Oh! I feel like I know what this is, but I can't. This res is, is Residence of Fate in this? No. Ugh. Why is it like? It's like right there. I'm gonna take the clue. We're gonna do it. Windows, PS3, Xbox 360, PSP, Vita, PS4. RPG, adventure, visual novel, Jesse. It's a PSP visual novel. It's a Vita visual novel. You have to know. Let me open my Vita. That's definitely ATE. Like, like. Steins Gate. Yes. Of course it is. Oh. That's the first one or so. It's a girl with Batman's utility belt. Listen, uh, everyone loves utility belts. This is P4. This is. Don't worry, the Vita's always close at hand. This is the original Halo. Perfect. This is, oh man, uh, what, we had Tekken 4, this is Tekken 5? Oh. Uh, Streets of Rage, let's say 1. Hell yeah. That's ME2. A lot of these would be harder if the logo wasn't partly shown. That's, I mean, listen, that's what makes it easy. Uh, this is Warcraft, th no, it's Warcraft 2. I was like, I think it's Warcraft 2, but King March 1. It also helps that a lot of these are just the same series. Um, that's, this is Street Fighter. Cause that's Akuma. I don't recognize any of these other people. What other series of fighting games was Akuma in? Is it third strike? Yeah, it's third strike. Nice. Uh, this is Tekken. Uh, six. Is this? Is it? Oh God. Oh no. Is this? Is this where it falls off? Three. Oh, I thought we'd already done three. Oh, bless. This is me Metal Gear. Huh? Colonel. This is Metro. Hell yeah. It's Baldur's Gate 2. It's Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Which is a, which is a, a good game. There's some fun Lord of the Rings games. That's, te listen, Tekken 2. Easy, 
Easy peasy. I think that's the one where Yoshimitsu throws him into a volcano. It's Pandora tomorrow. Baldur's Gate doesn't even appear in Baldur's Gate 2. That's funny. That's, I'm going to say it's a diff, it's another street. It's the fourth Streets of Rage. No. What is this? Is that police nonce? It's not even in the list. What is this? Is this the first Mega Man? Is this the first Mega Man that looks really weird? Yes. It was. What book did Mario? What book? Let's. Um. It's a super. This is two. Yeah. It's Tomb Raider. Fucking. This might be the one that fucks me. I don't think that's Tomb Raider 1, but we'll do it. Okay, it is Tomb Raider 1. I was like, I don't know. At 96, that's later than I thought. This is ODST. No? Okay, I, was like, I don't know. I don't know these games. I fell off these games after uh, uh, after three. Uh, Vom, gross. Blech. This is the Master Chief Collection. I know because I see it in the uh, Game Pass all the time. Uh, Metal Gear 4. There was a Halo 5? Yeah, yeah, there was. This, this is, this is, uh, no. This is Devil May Cry 3. Yeah, Dante's Awakening. <laughs> I know that belly button. Oh, this is, this is, this is, uh, Oracle. This is Oracle of Ages. This is Oracle of Ages. Dante's Gay Awakening. Is this another Devil May Cry? Is this Devil, is this, is this DMC 2? No, is this DMC 4? DMC 4. Oh yeah, with the kid. Yeah, pull my devil trigger. Tomb Raider 1 at the first E3 got the women working at Microsoft Games so excited. Then it came out and they had doubled Laura's breast size. There was so much disappointment. That's fair. That's a valid reaction. Some of these, I'm very curious. What books? What are we talking about? Uh, this is... Battlefield manga, probably. Is this five? No, it's four. No, it's. Not Bad Company 2, it's more modern. Not one, because one was the one, I think they did it, it was, it's a newer one. It's not Hardline. Maybe it is one where they did, no. God damn. Is this it? I'm doing Hardline. Forty-seven. I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, I hate video games. I do. 
All right, let's get into the mine. Oh, I, oh, I'm down here now. Oh, there's a little robot. Nope, it's a mummy. Boy, they don't take a lot of damage from uh, from fire. Also wrong, it's clearly a zombie. Rabbit bit. Wow, it does say zombie. Okay, well they have another per uh, they have another counter. They have another guy who counters all the time. There's no reason to come down here. Okay. Oh, he's poisoned. Hang on. Gotten two bomb upgrades and we're still on our first claw. Week or two before E3's May 20, 1995 start date, Outlook introduced out of office auto reply. People set it up and commuted from work to the airport over their extended weekend away, their inboxes. Auto replied out of office to each other about three times a minute. It took them a day of selecting dozens of replies, deleting them when they got back. That's so funny. Cursed Golf is the new epic game of the day. Oh shit, Brian! Brian's gonna want that. Brian's gonna want that. Michael IDK, hello. Michael, welcome on in. How the heck are you doing today? Brian's gonna want Curse to Golf. He loves golf games. Doing good, just a bit tired. How about you? I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Thank you for asking. Can I? Nope. Okay. Uh, there's some good golf games with my Camelot. Makers of the critically acclaimed TRPG <laughs> Shining Force too. Uh, let me get, let me get Chris Golf here so I don't forget. Yeah, no, doing well, playing, playing, uh, Mystic Quest here, having a good time chatting about RPGs and nonsense. You know how you do, you know how you do. Sorry, I had a situation at work. You're throwing oranges at the enemies now? Yeah, we have a mega grenade. We have a mega grenade. Also, Brian, um, I'll remind you about this when you're home because there's nothing you can do about it now. Uh, Curse to Golf is Epic's free game today. Is this like cast healing magic to save them is scurvy the one thing keeping them alive? That's funny. Oh, God. Ooh, okay. Okay. What's in here? You can log in their website on mobile to claim it. But Brian's at work, so. He'll do he'll do what he can when he can. I'll just remind him when he's home. You notice you throw your bombs? Yeah, which is I th which I think is really funny. Cause he was like, yeah, you just throw it. And I was like, oh, I can just throw them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I should have some water. Uh, 
yeah, since I best asked everybody today, Michael, what's your uh, what's your favorite RPG that you've played? Oh, a little yo. Got a little skelly man? What's going on? What is the difference? Let's let's look here. 105-120? Okay. Redbone. Everyone loves that Childish Gambino album. I'm not, I'm not knowledgeable enough to answer that. I don't play many RPGs. That's fair. That's fair. What's your then then uh, what's your favorite game you've played this year? What's or just a game recently you've enjoyed? No? Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, I'll just I'll just have to remind uh <clears throat> excuse me. I'll just have to remind Brian. Tears of the Kingdom by far. I'm I guess I guess I'm gonna end up playing Tears of the Kingdom. I guess that's gonna happen, huh? I'll just fight him now. That's probably gonna happen at some point. Need to play Link to the Past. I'm definitely more interested in playing older Zelda games, I'll say that. I'm definitely more interested in playing older Zelda games. Brian wants me to play Zelda 2 really bad. And, uh... Uh, I wanted to play, um, the Oracle games forever. I remember when they were coming out, like, I remember seeing ads for them and being like, oh my god, I want to play this. Um. Brian just wants you to suffer. Well, yeah, he's my best friend. Of course he does. I like how I don't think Link's Awakening... But I've also say you should play since it's my favorite is even on the wheel, but Zelda 2 is really up there. You can play the old one, you can play DX, you can play the Switch one, they're all Gucci. Uh, of the of the two of them, or the three of them, I guess, uh, I really want to play DX because um, I'm really interested in the little uh, dungeon mode that they have. They did a fan HD remake. I saw, Brian and I were actually chatting about that. Um, I didn't download it because Itch was like... Uh, yo, this download has a password, uh, which is a little suspicious. Um, and so I was like, oh, I'm not going to download that. Um, and a bunch of people mentioned like having trouble getting it to run and not having the controls mapped properly and all this. And I was just like, ah, I'm not gonna. you know, I was like, I'm not going to not going to worry about this. Like. But I do want to play DX, which I think is the Game Boy Color version. Mm. 
Jax was your first Zelda, the first game you ever beat. Oh my god, I love it. This was Zelda games I like is low, and the list of Zelda games I finished is incredibly low. It's the only one that's on both. <laughs> Yeah, and if I remember correctly... <laughs> wow, there's a lot of... Okay. Um... Weird. Okay. Michael, thank you for the follow. I also love Matthew at some point play the very first Zelda game without any sort of guide just to see if you're a true gamer. <laughs> Michael, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. We've had we've had a, a, a good couple people popping in today, and I love it. Yeah, I kind of playing playing the original Zelda would be really funny. Sparkle, hello. I feel like Age of Calamity, there was a fun Zelda. Yeah, Age of Calamity. I do want to get Age of Calamity. You two Fire Emblem Muso games you have to play through. I'm actually thinking about uh, stopping playing Fire Emblem Warriors. And... Uh, getting into... Marster Rancher? Oh my god. Marster Rancher is very funny. We do the ROMs of BS Zelda 1 that people hacked in the original game with but with better graphics. Um, I have some of the BS Zelda ROMs. Currently hunting for a size mark shiny area dose. Oh. Love that. Hey, Matt, can I make a note about this dungeon really quick? Sure, yeah. Ooh, ooh, Poppy's level up. Level 20, hell yeah. I love that I don't, like, gain anything when I level. You know? It's just, just my level goes up, and I guess, like, my, my, my base stats do, but it's just like, yeah, level 20, okay. Very funny. Okay, I did find Link's Awakening. Okay, there is uh there is a set for Link's Awakening DX. That's what I thought. <clears throat> Although where Mark happens, guaranteed hunt done, sure. Yeah, that's that's fair. Good news, you're no longer confused. Bad news, Ribbon did two thirds of <laughs> Ribbon did two thirds of your HP and damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you know what you're doing, super easy to walk out of here right away and progress. There's a piece of gear in here somewhere. You should make sure you, you grab. I definitely want to get gear that I need. So it would be wild if my rare mark Aridos has the size mark. That would be really cool. Ruben, please. Okay, fine. We don't have to deal with that anymore. <laughs> hey, 
And hey, look, he can just cast life 23 times. He's great. Oh, I'm strong against Paralysis. Oh, the... The, uh... The red caps are the one doing confusion. Okay, so I need to focus the red caps. Great. Great. Oh, hey. All that a win. That went better than expected. Yeah, that was definitely like, oh, okay then. <laughs> yeah, Link's Awakening DX has 110 achievements and 41 missable achievements. Oh, that's a lot of missables. Checking sandwich sizes after the sandwich to save sandwich time. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's reasonable. Yeah, and if you're hunting for sizes, it makes sense to use the sandwich. It makes sense to use a sandwich. Do you have the do you have the mark charm and all that already, Sparkle? Because that reminds me, I need to do those. Uh, I forgot to do those trades with uh, Helix. Maybe tonight when we're all when we're uh, if we're chilling in the Discord. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. You do the do the hunts after you have the mark charm. Two skeletons standing there next to a different textured wall. Everything's fine. No problem. Yeah. Why? Why would you? Why would you think there's anything weird going on? There's nothing weird going on. Get out of here. What, what do you, you, there's something weird going on with you. Who are you that there's something going on? Martin helped you with the two paradoxes. Nice. Yeah, I forgot that uh, when we, when we were doing the stream, Helix mentioned like, oh yeah, we should do the trades. And then I just, I just absolutely forgot. But I do need to finish my March Charm. Helped him with the two that you have. Yeah. Love it. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, a reminder to everybody. Um, Sapphire will be chilling in the Discord if people are up to do uh, Blueberry Quests. Um, depending on what I'm doing, I might also hop in. Um, but tomorrow, during normal stream time, uh, I will be chilling in a union room in the Discord uh, if people want to do blueberry quests. Uh, and if people need any of the, uh, the new paradoxes or anything like that, please let me know. Um, we can do we can do little trade backs. I got some uh, I got some events last night, which I'm very excited about. I got the 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 Coro Coro distribution, the first distribution. Because uh, yeah, I mean y'all know y'all know I love fucking Pokemon distributions. Need to play through the DLCs on Scarlet at some point. Yeah, I need to boot up my copy of Scarlet and uh, make sure it's up to date. I was bummed I forgot to boot up Scarlet and get the Darkrai mystery gift because it would have been really nice to have an extra Darkrai if someone missed it. Um, but I just, I just absolutely spaced. I absolutely spaced. I'm a little, I'm a little bummed at myself for it, but. Uh, 
Um, and then I'll get the DLC on Scarlet at some point. I'll get the DLC on Scarlet at some point. Uh, you know. Before I get, cause like obviously I still need to, I need to play through Shield and the DLC to get that done. But I want to get all of the old shiny hunts done. All right, what's in the chest? Charm Claw. Oh, does it do a charm attack? Wow, it does a lot. <laughs> it does everything. Holy cow. All right, I like that. All right, I like the claw. Um, but I need to get through playing black and white. Um, so I can do those RNGs to get those shinies, blah, 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 blah. That's everything, yeah? Is this, that's the one thing I need, Sage, yeah? Hey, guess what? Boop! Hell yeah. I have to go through the mine. Yeah, I, I thought I could go and bomb the rock, but it's like, no, I have to go through it. So no, I wasn't done. Ah! Stink. Boo. Boo. Boo me. Um, but yeah, gosh, I got so much Pokemon stuff I want to do. That's why I'm like, as excited as I am to get all of these foreign language stuff done, I'm like, I'm like, listen, I'll, I'll get to it. I gotta, I gotta play these old games first, you know? I gotta finish. I realized I'm missing a Keldeo and two Victinis from my collection. So like, can you imagine? I came up this way. I've I've been I've been playing black and white. That game is still so good. That game is still very good. Is it for the dragon event for today? No Jangmo, but Duraludon's out of the way. Hell yeah. I love it. Oh, there's a Oh, hang on. Yeah, I was glad I got my my Duraludon like immediately. And I was just like, great, done. <sighs> Love it. I need to get up here. I need to go there. I 
I showed, um... Got two to check. That's... Hey, listen, two ain't bad. Two ain't bad. Excuse me. Helix, would it be uh would it be cool if I ping you tomorrow to uh do touch trades for the new paradoxes? I don't know you what you have uh going on. Then I'll just uh, find some starters in my home and get that finished. Be good. Sure, I might be busy tomorrow evening. I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. If you're, if you got stuff going on, that's fine. You know. Still looking at your collection. Crusaders of Senti was so fun when I was a kid. God, what it why do I recognize that name? It feels like something that I added at some point. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, I remember adding that. The Atlas game is a Zelda clone. Yeah, I think I I think I saw a TikTok about it. Both are XL, that's a reset. That's the fun of, uh, of, uh, retro games. There's just, there's so many damn games, you know? Helix, yeah, enjoy your lurk. Thank you for hanging out, friend. Reset to save Urban Mystica. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that tracks. Here we go. Also realize I've never gone through a fantasy star. Uh, Brian loves uh, fantasy star two. I think I think if, if I'm if I'm remembering. Or is it Fantasy Star 4 and Star Ocean 2? Oh, listen, I gotta go in that cave. Okay, this is just gonna loot me around, but maybe there's something cool. There's literally nothing. Great. <laughs> maybe there's something cool. There's literally nothing. You shine wisdom on Saturn, which I hear is very good. I love, I just love the... Jin? Yo. Oh my god, he did so much damage. <sighs> Hypno sleep? That's fucked.
that grind rocked. Radio October. <laughs> Uh, I do want to I do want to play through those because uh, I did get Jet Set Radio Future working. Um, Oh God. <clears throat> he just has a ton of hit points is the problem. Oh. <laughs> oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh my God. enough to blow up the boulder. Stand back. Is that really all it took? Wow, you're lucky it didn't roll on the town. Holy shit. We, we did it. Ruben, I knew you'd save me. Please head home to mom. Right, you two be careful. Bobby, let's return to Fireburg. But what's over there? Whoop. Okay, well, hey, before you go... Okay. Before you go, let's do this battleground. Do, 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 do. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind, uh, check grind radio. Gosh, I love check grind radio. Excuse me. Whoa! Ghosts! Oh. Deal with the ghosts. <laughs> Just, oh no, I got. Oh, I beat him. Okay. Never mind. Let's let's do a little heal. A little sneaky heal. Uh, and I don't have any things, that's great. Yeah, there's so many there's so many RPGs that I have that I want to play. It's it's ridiculous. You know?
and they just keep making them. They just, they just keep making RPGs. And you're like, excuse me. You know, you gotta... Hey, listen, 2023 was a really good year for games. Can 2024 be, like, a chill year for games where we just go, you know, we put out so many good games in 2023. We're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna keep this one chill. You know, listen, last year we gave you Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate. And however many, everyone take a well-deserved vacation. Yeah, just everybody, just, just everybody take a vacation. It's fine. We don't need any new games for a minute. You know? We don't need any new games for a minute. You, you We can just... You know, and I just got the Red Dead games. Um, and, you know, I've got like, you know, we're talking about like, you know, Final Fantasy 13, 2 and 3, and Persona 5. And it's just like, hey, what if what if you just didn't release any games this year? You know, I feel like every five years, there's a catch up year. No, every every four, every four. And then the fifth is every fifth is a chill year. Every fifth is a chill year. Every fifth is the year that you just go, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We don't need to go ham every year. You know, and you know they're going to be announcing a new Pokemon game in, like, two months. You know, and I, I don't, I, and, I, and I mean this in the kindest of ways. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't, I don't need that. <laughs> On top of everything else. Okay, come on. Come on. There you go. You know, I'm already trying to play all these Pokemon games. Where the hell am I going? Where the... Is it this house? It's this house. It was this house. It was this house the whole time. There's only four houses. I forgot to tell you, the crystal fire is in the lava dome. Okay, this feels like I gotta go. He said go back to Fireburg. I guess that's to learn that the crystal fire is in the lava dome, which I, I could have guessed. Can I go down? Yes. Sealed temple. Oh, hey. Do you have 10 GP for a cup of coffee? What the? Did he just steal 10 GP from me? Achievement unlock, breaking the seal. Hell yeah. Not so sealed now, huh?
All right. End of the volcano. This is out. Okay. Okay, I was like, are there are they the same ghosts or are they fire ghosts? I was worried we were gonna have fire ghosts for a second. All right, all right, everybody fucking chill. Starting September 16th is Hispanic Heritage Month. Samba Timber de Amigo. Oh my god. There was a new Samba de Amigo game that I think came out. Think it's out already? <sighs> why does hey hey hick? Why does Hispanic Heritage Month start halfway through the month? Can we talk about that? Yeah, it came out in, in August. Oh, that's a bad sign. There's a Samba de Amigo on Meta, on, on Quest. That's really funny. They made one for the Wii? Wow. I love learning that games existed that I didn't know about. Oh, I don't want to. Oh. Ghost is strong against Earth Attack. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Nightmare. Yeah, okay. With the little purple? I love it. Oh, hang on. Hang on. There's the little... Oh, hang on. Hang on, friends. Damn, the, the music in this is a bop! I love it. Oh, yo, it's like a whole map over here. It starts in the 15th. It's probably it starts in the middle. Probably because the Independence Day for many Latin American countries are between September and the following weeks. Oh, that makes sense then. <sighs> that makes sense then. I just thought it was really funny that it's like, oh yeah, it's Hispanic Independence, it's Hispanic Heritage Month. White, elsewhere known as Holy. Oh.
I bet you Holy's gonna wreck these guys. Oh, and it's gonna hit. Love it. So much damage. Man, is it worth all these fights to go get those items? I don't know. But I'm gonna. I think I have more than half of the achievements. Yeah, we are at 53% of the achievements. Which I'm surprised. This, this game might take a little longer than I think. That's just how it goes with streaming, you know? Games always take a little longer than you think they will. That's why I'm so scared of, of doing something so big as as big as Persona 5. You know? Because it's already such a big game. And then, oh yeah, what if you were... What if you were streaming? You know, P5 is yeah. P5 is a very long game. Good thing you're not an achievement hunter, though. Mm. New Jersey, I have bad news. <laughs> uh, New Jersey, I regret to inform you. <laughs> uh This is cool. The music the music for this is rad. Oh, I can't see them because of the mist. I got to find the mask. I'm only achievement hunting in one game at the moment. Uh I would probably I mean, I remember, I remember watching Gerard's video on P5. Um, like, it's not, it's not really worth it to... Oh, I can't carry any more explosives. Oh. Um, it's not really worth it to, to try to get all the achievements. That's one of those things. Oh, I went up to a different spot. Oh. Dude, in Terraria? Mmm. It has been so long since I played Terraria. Um, but I remember Gerard saying... Like, if he had just been trying to get the achievements, it probably would have been easier. Someone referred to Wizard of Oz as Isekai, and I must curse you all with that thought. You know, where's the lime?
Where's the live out? I don't know what the, uh... Trying to get the annoying craft achievements. I don't... Did, did Terraria even have achievements when I played it? Let's... No, it didn't. Because I don't have any. So... Ugh. Yeah, I haven't I played Terraria according to Steam. I last played Terraria. Come come back, Steam. I last played Terraria in 2014. So I just played Terraria in 2015. 2014, excuse me. Zenith and Terrace Park Burks. Oh yeah, I we we were playing with a friend of mine. It was actually really fun. Uh, Aaron and I were playing with a friend of mine that I met through. I want to say it was Guild Wars. I want to say he was in the he was in the Guild Wars group that I was in. Um, and, uh, like, this was before Discord. This was, like, you know... It was, a, it was an interesting time to be a gamer during these times. In the days of uh, team speak. Was it somebody I knew from playing WoW? I think it was somebody I knew from playing WoW now that I think about it. Um, but, uh,. We were just playing Guild Wars together. Or we were playing Terraria. Aaron was playing it on her on her bad laptop that she'd had all of college. Which, you know, could not have been a really good time. The, 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 like, success music in this game really is. I miss, I, you know, I miss my old, uh, WoW group. It was, you know, it was, it was during, uh, it was during college. There, there was, a uh, just, like, ugh, okay, well, we didn't need that. Um, there was just a simplicity to that time, you know, it was, it was, uh, the group was formed around, okay, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, the group was formed around an anime, uh, podcast because we were in a forum, right? So the anime podcast had a forum. That's how old this fucking was. Um... And we were all in the forum. And then everybody in the in the clan, in the guild, in the WoW guild, was it was one of the hosts of the podcast. Uh his wife. And then just people from the forum. 
So there was like 15 of us. <laughs> um, and we were the number three clan on the server because we had a really small server. Um, but we were a progression guild. So it was very funny. I saw the TF2 clan leader I hung out with back in the day. Started playing poker at the inventory on Steam the other day. Had to stop and check. You're like, I'm sorry? That's very funny. I'm probably still Steam friends with these people because I, I'm I'm not the sort of person to go and like remove friends on a thing because I'm, you know, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, that speaks to a, a self-awareness that I just don't possess. Um, like, I'm still friends on Xbox, as far as I know, um, with the guys that I used to play Battle Bad Company 2 with. Um, one of whom writes for Star Wars now. Um, he was also in that... Uh, anime podcast forum that's that we were mutuals on twitter uh for a time he wrote for i want to say squadron I seem to unless this fascinating snapshot in time. Oh, and a bunch of people on my Steam friends list are back before you could join easily into Destiny 2 stuff. Um so it's some people from the from the Destiny 2 clan that I'm in that it's just like, yeah, okay, well, you know, we have to be friends because we're going to join into this thing and it's just so much easier to do it this way very people about pe people who I follow on part of 20 discords and that's about twice too many I feel that I feel that and I'm in discords that I actively want to be a part of and I'm just like this no it's too many it's too many discords oh fuck off this this sucks we might turn this around mmm mmm we didn't. We didn't turn it around. We didn't turn it around. I enjoy a good purge. Oh, she does a counter attack. Okay, Medusa's strong against water. That's good to know. How about fire? Fish. Does like no damage. I do, I do like no magic damage. Cure can't, oh my gosh. Can't run away, oh. Mm. Mm, okay. Here's what I would love. Um, if y'all could like, do your fucking attacks. Back when I was on the Badman site, I would follow people and celebrities and writers, but only if they posted drama or sky as following posts. Uh, I'd, I'd just unfollow for... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was very... Uh, I was very picky about who I follow. Like, I, oh, I, I never follow celebrities um, on anything. Like, I don't give a fuck. Um, damn it. 
well, fuck me. Like, I can't... <laughs> I just can't do anything. He's just dead. He's just dead. That's not what I wanted to do. God damn. Oh. Oh. I think I missed my New Year's plans. Uh, what, like, I'm, what I'm actually doing, or, like, my resolution? Look at your blue sky post. You said you were talking about New Year's plans. Oh yeah, yeah. Like what, what, uh, what people want to do for for their New Year's resolutions. What they have going on. I wasn't sure you were announcing something. Just right. Oh yeah, just just as like a, you know, what are you doing for New Year's? What do you want to do in the New Year? I've seen a lot uh, in, in one of the discords I'm in. People are talking about the games that they want to run and play in the New Year. I thought you were announcing a Kingdom Hearts marathon. <laughs> Oh. But yeah, uh, a bunch of my friends are talking about stuff they want to play in the new year. Um, and, you know, games they want to play, games they want to run. And I'm not a big New Year's resolution guy. Like... I don't think you have to wait until the new year in order to, like, decide you want to do something to better your life. But I also recognize that, like, that's a good time for people to sort of mentally... <laughs> that's very funny. Um, that's a good time for people to sort of, like, mentally prepare to make a big change. Um... Like, I want to get better about... Wow, I'm glad I did that. Shit. Um, I want to get better about uh, working on learning Japanese. Um, like, for my own sake. Like, it's, you know, it's a thing I want to do, and I just want to get better about spending the time to do it. Hey! Nice. Eat it. Found forty dollars. Cool. I believe the New Year's resolution is the same way. I always thought if you don't have the will to join your own, you're not gonna have the follow through to maintain. Oh yeah, no, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. There we go. Oh, I hit. I'm hitting. I'm hitting B is the problem. Oh wait. There was a there was an Did I just restart? Uh there was an item. Okay, I unlocked the path through. Wait a minute. Oh, don't use, like, our cool wizard spells. You stop resurrecting, you shits. Oh, my God. There you go. Good. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm gonna lose it.
Why now, all of a sudden, is this game like, hey, fuck you? <laughs> like... Just out of nowhere, like, hey, by the way, uh, these enemies are going to revive and they're gonna poison you and they're gonna confuse you. Uh, and these guys are gonna stone you and you're just like, no, J like, no RPGs are like this. Can I just, no, you can't jump them. I was like, can I just jump these? I've never tried. Yeah, I really want to. Um, I really want to do more uh, teach RPG stuff um, in the in the really cool uh, discords that I'm in. Uh, cause I'm in some some neat discords with some cool people um, who you know just want to play teach RPGs and have a good time. You know, I want to I want to get myself together to to do it. Uh, and, you know, have do do cool stuff with my friends, you know? Like the problem is all of the cool all of the things that I want to do take time. You know, and there's only so much time. There's only so much time. So, interesting concept. How one would do easy difficulty setting on TTRPGs? Yeah, I really, I, I, I want to think about that a lot more. Um, I want to think about that a lot more and do maybe do a TikTok or do a like a co-host post or something about it. Um, excuse me. I think that's a really interesting idea overall. And Will of Darkness, you would add more D10s, maybe? I mean, I think for games that have target numbers, you would lower the target numbers, right? So say you're doing this for Dungeons & Dragons, right? This is a good time to talk about this since I'm just having to go back through to try to get that out. Um... You know, you would say, okay, hey, um, you know, you knock down the armor class a couple, a couple uh, numbers, you know, you break, you know, oh, instead of an 18, it's a 15, um, you know, maybe you do, you do a little less damage, you bring the, you know, you bring the hit points down a little bit. Um, but as with most things, oh my god. But as with most things, um, the thing you want to do, great, love it, um, is you want to have a conversation with people, right? So many of these things, I think, s start as conversations, need to start as conversations, right? Because unlike a video game, right? A TTRBG is a conversation between people. Um, and so, um, you know, there's no perfect right answer for what an easy mode in a TTRPG would look like. Um, because one, it would vary game to game, and two, that would probably vary person to person. Uh, you know, like I know for, for me, um, I always enjoy in TTRPGs or in, in video games, when easy modes, like when difficulty settings reflect uh, uh, just like, oh, you take less damage, you deal the same amount of damage, or just like, yeah, you take less damage, you know, you don't take less damage, you just have more health. Um, you know, I, I, I think difficulty settings in video games are a balancing act. Um, and that balancing is a lot easier to do in TTRPGs by default. Um, and there's NPC that's in the party. That's yeah. Um, having having a GMPC that's there to provide support 
uh, in a way that's like difficult for a player character to do. You know, like uh, RPGs do this a lot where you have a guest character. We're even get this game. Fuck. Um, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, this game. Um, you know, you have a character that isn't, you know, like you don't track spells the same way you don't, you know, they exist kind of separate from the rules. So I think, I think it's a super interesting conversation and I think it is more about the thought process of how would you make an easy mode for a TTRPG more than, more than an easy TTRPG. I think that's the wrong bent to take. Um, but if someone was like, hey, this game is hard, how would you fix that? How would you how would you go about that change? How would you go about those changes? What would what would your thought process for that be like more than anything? I think that's a cool. I think that's a cool conversation to have. I think that's a, is an interesting uh, thought experiment. Skill checks and damage rolls would only be done by the players. But if there's a lethal hit, Locky do the fit. <laughs> Locky do would fish the character back out onto the track. Yeah, and I, I, it's, you know, you could say, hey, easy mode. You know, you can say, hey, what does easy mode mean to you? And it's like, oh, easy mode just means, you know, we don't, you know, maybe easy mode just means if you lose the encounter you restart at the at the top of the encounter right maybe that's all easy mode means to that specific person where you're like yeah you know we we die you know we lost the encounter and we restart you know maybe it's maybe it's that easy maybe it's you know or it's that specific it's interesting being able to restart. That's a thing in um, Dot Dungeon. Uh, this this TTRPG that, that I picked up that I'm really interested in. Um, there's some really interesting video game language used in it. I never liked the concept of having to lose a character and rerolling their twin. That is um, my biggest problem with a number of trad games. Um, is that the assumption by the game and a lot of how do I get there? There's another staircase. How do I get to this staircase? What do I got to do? What do I what do I got to do? It's there. OK, hang on. Is that the, that's the other route that I went up. Oh man. Um, I think it's just less, it's just, it's very uninteresting. The only failure in trad games like D&D &D and Pathfinder and the like is death, right? That that's it, that that's the only, that it's like, oh, what happens? You die. Well, boring. You know? There's a lot more interesting interesting failure points you can have than you die. Um, and I say this as a person who did a TikTok not that long ago that was like, uh, if you are not engaging with D&D with its lethality, you know, if you are saying, oh, I don't like this game that's this lethal and all of this, then you're then you're in so many words playing the game wrong. Um, you know, I still believe that. But I think it's I think those games are 
less interesting than other games because it's like, oh, what's the worst thing that can happen to your character? You die. And it's like, well, that's no. How many, how many movies, how many stories, how many things have we seen where it's a like, oh, it's a fate worse than death? Like a ton of them, like all, all of them. Oh, fuck yourself. Come on. I remember my Virtual Worlds class 15 years ago. We were talking with Richard Bartle discussing if RPGs can exist without numbers. Oh, see, that's an inch. Get out of here. That's an interesting conversation. I think that's a really interesting conversation. Like, what is the core, what is the defining characteristics of RPGs? What is it that makes it an RPG versus something else? I think it's a really interesting concept. And sometimes I think the conversation you, you you have the conversation for the conversation you know you say hey you know what's fun uh is having this conversation where we think about you know this and this and this and this and we, we talk about what this and this and this means um and the the conversation isn't going back and forth between yes and it was all i can take right having the conversation about you know, does an RPG have to have numbers? Yes. Why? Does it have to have a numbers? No. Why? Um, you know, when you think about things in this way, and that's fun. All right. I knew I needed them. I was like, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's the mask. I should probably get it. Oh, all right. Excuse me. Let's heal and then volcano time. But yeah, I want to do. I want to do some more TTRPGs. Uh, I really want to do Lancer because I love Lancer. There's so many like so many mech games I want to do. Um, I want to finish my uh, Cyberpunk City project that I was working on. Cause that was that was a cool idea and, and I've I've made a little progress on it. It would be fun to make more progress. Such a cool class in another lifetime. I'm currently in video games academia. I think there's a a a, a real lack of top level crit when it comes to talking about video games. Um, it's why I love. Um, it's why I miss like Austin Walker's work so much. Um, it's why I love hanging out in Telegame. Um, you know, the the sort of pure academic concept where it's like, where it's like we're not discussing like, is this game a seven or an eight? We're discussing like this piece of art critically as a piece of art. I was in college when the papers I wrote about video games and education was picked up in an academic journal. Oh, that's dope. That's cool. Oh, excuse me. We're talking too much because I'm yawning. My, my brain isn't getting enough oxygen because of all the talking I'm doing. But 
that's neat. That's 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 really cool to have like something you wrote be recognized in that way. That's really neat. Back in 2006, I was thinking about doing education in virtual worlds and video games. There wasn't much resource at all. Fast forward to 2020, people people suddenly had to get very cool with it. <laughs> we got to get cool with a lot of things really fast. Yeah, I think I think there's a um, especially virtual worlds. Um, I saw a really cool YouTube video that was talking about um, abandoned, like, not MMOs in terms of games, but MMOs in terms of virtual spaces. Um, you know, things like 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 things like Second Life um, and Second Life clones and all that. Um, and it was really neat to see because it was such a weird, specific time capsule. It was such a specific time capsule uh, of like, here's what was important to have in virtual spaces at the time. We should labs for the class in Second Life. That makes sense. Like, you, you know, if that's what you're talking about, if that's what you're, uh, if that's what the point of the class is. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I got those mixed up. Um, then, you know, that's what you want to be familiar with. People are trying to engineer new ones. I did a product test on a virtual meeting space with avatars, and all my responses were like, "Yeah, this looks like Second Life." Yeah, they keep tr they keep trying to reinvent Second Life, and it's like, like the all of the all of the fucking uh, uh, metaverse stuff just looks like Second Life. You know, it just looks like Second Life. Oh, Dragon Quest Online's getting a physical release. That's neat. We all get a subscription to WoW. We played it, but also there's a lot to study about people and communications. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to go fight these birds. My friend who was way into Second Life during the height of it became friends with Meowth's English VA, who was also a big user. That's hilarious. That's so funny. so funny that's the fun of the internet you know that's a that's like that's the fun of the internet that's classic internet fun nonsense you know Oh, shit. Oh, I feel like I'm accidentally going the right way. Oh, e <laughs> wow.
that, you know, I wasn't expecting that big a drop. Tetheno, one of Medusa's sisters. That's 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 good localization. These look like the guys from Mono's Hands of Fate. Bangpire? That's very funny. The other was... Uriel. Bet she's in here too. I think it's just the rename for... Oh my god. Okay, calm down, game. I think it's just the the rename for the the Medusa demo. Still a good rename though. Like solid name. Yeah, I, I think I think there's a lot of interesting I think there's a lot of interesting conversation to be had around um, online spaces, uh, especially those that aren't exclusively um, based around games. Um, Moon Helm. Oh my God. Hell yeah. Resistant to fire. Perfectly timed. Named one of my succulents to Theno. <laughs> Okay, cool. I accidentally went the right way, but for fucking upgrades, hell yeah. This game is so interesting. Game. This this is our last area with uh, with Ruben, and I can tell because we're catching up to him in level. This is a really interesting game. I think it's I, again the thing. The thing I keep coming back to is it's very funny that this is like a starter TTRPG. This is like a learning how to play. Uh, or I said TTRPG. Uh, this is like a learning how to play RPG, but then it does so many things that aren't how they do them in RPGs. You know, you're you're not going to town 
and and equipping your allies and buying a bunch of new material a bunch of new like equipment um you're just you just find it in the field it is gamera that's true you know you find it in the field and you're like oh hey here's my one here's my upgrade you know um and that's it you know you're you're you just get it you don't have to equip it or change it you just have it and you're like well that's my best helm so cool you know, you're not managing party members. I mentioned Aaron, there's only one party member, and she's like, she's like, what? She's like, RPGs have a bunch of party members. Like, that's kind of part of it. I was like, yeah, I'm like, it's, it's interesting. That they're doing it this way. It's, 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 a, you know, and it's not bad. It's like, it's, a, it's an interesting difference. And so it seems interesting that it, that it was like, let's let's make an RPG to teach people RPGs, but then make a completely different thing. The music, the music does roll. That's straight up. The music, the music has ruled the entire time. Excuse me. The music has ruled the entire time. that classic Super NES RPG, you know, sort of soundtrack. So I have to go down. Can't believe I forgot to read the manual though. That so embarrassing. So embarrassing. That's fine. I really, I gotta say, as a, as a person who will just kind of like tune out on a game sometimes, I really appreciate how how absolutely chill this game is when your character dies. <laughs> They're just like, whatever. You know what I mean? Just like, ah, yeah, it's fine. They'll come back at one at the end of the battle. You're, you're, you're good. Don't worry about it. Just like, oh, thank you. Gotta go, it was fun chatting? Yeah, always, Nuja. Always, it was wonderful to see you, friend. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll be finishing up here in just a little bit anyway. 
yeah, hopefully I will, uh, hopefully we'll see you on Friday. Oh, are we both blind? No. Oh, hang on, don't. What's so mystic about this quest? Uh, there's a lot of magic. We cast a lot of magic. Kara, how are you doing today? Thank you for stopping in. I'm road tripping Friday? Yo! What's, what is on the funky road trip plans? You're alive? Love to hear it every time. Happy to hear it every time. Okay, he's not blind, good. Oh, they're weak against Axe. Uh... International Paranormal Research Museum looks kind of bad. Lol. Dawes Museum, various graves. Hell yeah. There was something. There was something around here. Oh, look at these new Salamand. Um, there was something around here that we learned about that I was like, I should tell Jesse about this. Um, what's the... Uh, uh, burr, 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 burr. Jesse, have you heard... Have you heard about the lizard man of Scrape or Swamp? Gonna loop through Kentucky for this? Oh, damn. Not specifically, local cryptid. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Uh, I think it is. Uh, it's one of the neighboring counties. It's not the county I'm in. Um, but, uh, yeah, it apparently. Uh, it apparently was first sighted in the summer of 98. Um, and I think there's a, uh, I think there's a little museum. Folks have festivals for cryptids all over. Oh, there was another, that was it. That was it. Oh man, there was a, f oh man. I'm gonna have to. So Aaron and I are listening to a podcast. I, I, I think I've met, I've probably mentioned it. Uh, we're listening to a podcast called Arcane Carolinas, which is about, all about like cryptids and ghost sightings and weird stuff in the air in the Carolinas. Um, and they there was one town that had a cryptid, and they had a. Uh, a, a festival like related to it but it was like it was like if you had a, uh, a a festival that you just had like a big uh farmer's market for it so it was like it was like if you just had a big farmer's market ostensibly for this local cryptid That's kind of what the Mothman Festival was, uh, or pre pre Fallout. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, that kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. You know, new new Mothman shit drops.
But that was with the festival the year 76 came out. I was there, it was wild. That sounds amazing. That's so funny. Okay, I have to try to find... I have to try to find this. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. Spelling event specific merge people were waiting hours for. Oh, uh, see, that's always, that's always the bummer to me, right? Is I'm always just like, ah, see, now it's been commercialized. Now I'm, a, now I'm, now I'm bummed about it. Like, ah, whoops, it was cool. And then we did a capitalism. I wasn't a huge fan of the Fallout Credit Mothman, but I'm a hater. I gotta find... I gotta find this. Um... I found out there's a Call of Cthulhu scenario for the Lizard Man. Um, and so I gotta, I gotta find that. Because having a Call of Cthulhu, uh, blah, 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 a Call of Cthulhu scenario written for a local cryptid is dope. The problem is I don't remember what the name is. Which is gonna make it difficult. Oh, Poppy's level up. Yeah, I love, you know. Does sound a little difficult if you're a quitter, damn. Damn. Closest cryptid to me is the Loveland Frog. Big ol' frog fella. Love it. Who's the love who's the love little frog? Who's the love little frog guy? I'm the closest cryptid to me. Local cryptids in your area. You know, Jesse's in chat. I shouldn't make a joke about that. I shouldn't make a joke about local cryptids in your area. That's not. There's got to be all kinds of cryptids. For, uh. Uh, in the da, 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 in Appalachia. We also have the Ohio Grassman Regional Bigfoot, who I would absolutely date. Everyone has their own little. Everyone has their own little, little Bigfoot.
Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do this later. Stop thinking about this. My favorite Appalachian creature is Folklore Not Cryptid. Tali Poe terrified me as a kid, so I love it. Oh yeah, there's so many things that are... That, actually, that's probably the thing is I bet you a bunch of the Appalachian stuff isn't... Uh, isn't cryptid so much as folklore. Yeah, I'll find I'll find that episode of the podcast so I can tell you about that festival. It sounded like a chill time. Hunter fails to kill something on his property, takes the tail he managed to cut off back home to make a soup with or whatever. Oh, that's not a good idea. Oh, that's a bad idea. The creature returns and wants to know where it's Taily Poo. Oh. Gosh. Oh, like Poe. Taily Poe. Got it. I had it right. I think I had it right the first time. So you can play something Final Fantasy makes me want to play some Final Fantasy. Oh, I didn't realize I got stoned. F. Ah, ah. Let me tell you, I love uh, RPGs, so I get you. I cast heal again. That's not what I wanted. I didn't do an attack and she counters with Petra Touch. This sucks. Oh my god, so many... So many monsters! The volcano is huge! Just... They know what they're up to. They know what they're up to. Doing, doing the shimmies. I think it's so funny that there's just like no reason to fight them. There's just no reason to fight them. Let's 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 get out of this room and we'll see we'll see what's going on. lava dome we're in the lava dome we have like you know most of the collectible items now which is cool um we got a ton of spells there's there's definitely still more spells to get but not that many not that many <clears throat> casually those up final fantasy 4 final fantasy 4 is a good one final fantasy 4 is a good one but, uh, but yeah, we're, gosh, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. But we'll go, we'll go here. That's going to be it for today. That's going to be it for today. Thank you everybody for, uh, for being here and hanging out. I really appreciate it. We got, 
we had a good couple follows. Um, uh, Michael and Thea and Faith. Thank you for uh, thank you for the raids, uh, cereal and pancakes right at the start, kicking us off. Um, and then Jesse with the resub and Faith subbing for three months in a row. Yeah. What a day! What a <laughs> what a day for a random Wednesday. It was really cool. It was really neat. Um, I will be back on Friday um, with some more Mystic Quests. We're definitely getting near the end of the game. Um, so, you know, always excited to finish up a game. Um, and then that will be that'll be our last stream for the year. Um, I need to double check with Aaron. I think um, we're going to have another week uh, next week, like we did this week, where I'm going to have uh, maybe taking Monday off. Um, but then we'll come back and uh, do a Tuesday. But I'll put that in the Discord. I'll put that in the Discord um, to know for sure. You know, because uh, I, you know, I, I, I know we're traveling. I don't know exactly what we're doing, so we'll have to double check that and make sure everything's solid. But for now, we're gonna raid Anya. We're gonna raid Anya. Anya's having a just chatting day. Uh, right now she's like doing an apartment tour and she's, I don't know if she's already cut her hair. She said she's going to cut her hair live. That might've already happened. We might've missed it. Nothing I can do about it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I always have a good time hanging out over there. I'm going to go have some food and, uh, walk Josie and try to get some stuff done. I hope everybody has a good rest of your day. Take care of yourself. I'll see everybody on, I got to go over here to the button. I'll see everybody on Friday.